you know me, I'm a bit dramatic, so sorry about that. Ciao beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are safe and well. Now, if you hear any sort of sound, weird sound on the background, it's raining really bad today and it's so, so windy. Like, so windy. I mean, it's like the apocalypse. Like, I mean, sorry, I've been a bit dramatic, but it's, oh my God, I've never known a wind so strong. You know me, I'm a bit dramatic, so sorry about that. But I've been out this morning because I had to get some milk and some bread a few other bits and uh, i was like oh my i got my hair I, I i literally had a shower blow dry my hair put some hairspray and i come back home and i look like cruella the marginal when she's like all crazy yeah so that's me right so today we're going to play with a fabulous uh, digital kit from tracy fox creative as you know i'm part of uh, tracy's design team and this fabulous kit is actually called fabulous floral flourishes so couldn't get any better name tracy uh, it's it's literally fabulous so i'll show you a few pages this kit is huge so i'll show you what i printed so you get a couple of pages with some tags and then you get the actual all the elements that you need to be your own tags um and i already fussy cut a couple of those you also get this is a blue page with the lovely birds you get another page with the tags smaller and all the elements that you can play with and you get a lot of a4s full of collages floral collages we love collages um and i love anything that it's got floral in it i'm obsessed with floral so yeah so that is um fabulous and it's called fabulous because it's fabulous so that's another one and this is more like a yellow yellow and orange tones i love that and then you also get a couple of pages with some uh, envelopes so it's a very very versatile kit so you can do what you want with it so today we're gonna play i want to make a couple of tags but i've got this left from my um tie dye sorry just at the moment uh tie dye uh, tie dye project so i'm going to use those two as a back as a back of the tag so because i want to give that sort of strength and i also want the back of the tag to be quite interesting not just the front so the music goes like that so uh, first of all i'm going to glue the tag on the back of the music music sheet uh, and that will give a, a strength in terms of weight of paper, but also it gives us a lovely interest on the back. So hi, you guys. How's everyone? How's life? How's everything? Uh, I'm really pleased because we booked to go to Italy at the end of April. So we'll be going for two weeks. Uh, I can't not wait. I'm really, really excited. So we booked the flights um, and also, so I'm really, really, really pleased. I cannot wait to go. I'm going to glue the other one, but I'm not going to make, I'm only going to make one of each today, but I'm just going to prep it so I can play um, another time. Um, so I'm just going to do that. So yeah, so we'll be going for two weeks. Um, we're just going to look at properties as well, because we did look at property last time, but there wasn't anything that kind of like what's suitable for us um and it's so frustrating because i look at property almost every day um the bad thing is because we can't really see them and i'm not you know i'm not expecting anybody else to go and do it for us because at the end of the day it's our house it's going to be our home so we need to be happy with that um so and so anyway so when you look at properties yeah i'm gonna do that in here when you look at properties um like oh i saved them on my bookmarks and then like literally a few weeks later they just sell because it's a small village by the sea it's got a lot of attentions and attraction for tourists because they want to buy their own property so certain properties that me and jamie wants to buy they go on website they go oops they go online um a few weeks later they just sell they just sell so quick 
So it's so disappointing. So we're hoping that we will be able to view a few properties and start from there because it's also frustrating because we are going to, I mean, do you hear that? It's so windy. Um, so I might be soaked by the end of this video because the wind is going to collapse. Um, yeah, because we live here, when you buy a property, you need to spend some time to do it up because we want really uh, this beautiful, there are beautiful houses in the middle of the historical town centres. Uh, but because they're so old, um, they've got that really nice char characters, they need to be done up or they're like small projects because we, I mean, my, my parents live there, so they, they, they help. But um, it's just difficult because you need to book all the people, you know, it, it's, it's hard. When we bought this house, this house was a massive project. So it's a bedroom house. We done it completely ourselves. Well, not like me and Jamie doing it because we are the most useless uh, handyman that you can find in the world. We did paint. We did paint, I must admit. But that's that's as far as it took like we no no we're not it's not we're just useless uh we can make things pretty but we can't uh we can't just do anything else um so yeah so we done we literally done rewired the entire house got a new boiler new central heating new radiators uh rewired replastered everything we've got new floors everywhere new carpets new boiler um new wooden floors literally everything in here is brand new uh, but it's an investment that we we were prepared to make because when we sell the house you're gonna get a brand new house with things that are not gonna break anytime soon touch wood so yeah so that is the plan so yeah we're so looking forward and to be fair oh i'm a bit oh i've been a bit wild with that cutting um because end of april i perf right when i was there was living there when i was a teenager before i moved to milan with my unit for my university i you because you live in a place you underestimate the the beauty of that place and you get everything for granted Um, you've got the beautiful food the beautiful weather the beautiful people you know everything there is just amazing Um, so when you when you're there you kind of like don't appreciate things and you oh, oops it's always it's always when um you're far away for things that or you don't have them as as much as you want to you appreciate what what you miss but i always think you need to appreciate what you have more than what what you miss and i'm so grateful for what me and jamie build in this country because you know, I came here, I remember my first day. Yes, I knew English, but I couldn't really speak properly. Like I do speak properly, no, not properly, but I'm quite fluent. I would like to say that I'm fluent um, in English. Um, so I'm going to use those two another time. So, yeah, and then it's like, you know, I, I have a, a really good job. Um, and uh, now I am building my dream job on creating arts and digital arts and also i'm loving social medias um you know i've been doing i've been studying a few courses i took quite a lot of courses online for uh, like business courses um she should have sat on the mushroom shouldn't she sorry i'm just talking and i'm totally not paying attention on what i'm doing yeah she should be sat on a mushroom um I'm, i love anything i always be like that anything with business like business marketing because that's what i do on my daily job um i love business i love marketing and i, I you know i'm i'm a very curious person i need to know everything i do i need to know the reason why i'm doing it. and i'm always cha challenge the big bosses in my workplace because if it's something that i don't think is right or if i don't understand the reason why we're doing it why are we doing the right things and that with my team i have a wonderful team uh, then i am very proud i line manage they are wonderful people um but again i always make sure 
I de develop the people that want to progress and want to go forward because that's my job as well as I did that when I started in this country. Well, I don't want to cover the birds. Yeah, so she's going to go on the back. Um, so that's, yeah, so I was saying I did a couple of courses, that I'm, I'm online courses that I'm literally finishing a couple of weeks. It's all about marketing and social media. Very, very interesting. And it's so bizarre because on my daily work, um, we tend to do a lot of training um, with a new technology, new social media, marketing. Because, I'm for, well, unfortunately, we live in a digital area, you know, in... In a few years, uh, digital digital marketing changes a lot, and you know it's that is the future, especially with social media. I mean, I got I am extremely lucky to I love that birds. I don't want to cover them. Um, I am extremely lucky to to have this channel because when I first started on YouTube, I thought, oh God, who is gonna follow? because the crafty environment is female dominated um and it's that's not a secret because the audience are female so all of you lovely ladies that watch my videos thank you for doing that um and i met so many wonderful people and chatted when you know you guys leave me so so many wonderful comments um yeah and i'm so grateful for it so yeah and you know that is the reason why and i was like oh god who is gonna follow um a little guy when you know it's a if it's an industry and it's a it's a field that's extremely female dominated so i was like oh not going anywhere nobody's gonna care what i do but actually the response i've got you know is amazing and th thanks to every single one of you because silly things i love this um this is my new obsession, metallic, what do you call them? Uh, eyelets. Uh, so I'm going to use two gold ones on this project. One. Or should we use copper? I might use copper for that and gold for that. Yeah. Um, I'm extremely, extremely grateful to every single one of you that watches and comments. Oh, yeah, look how pretty that look. Uh, ooh, that leave a comment and give a thumbs up because, you know, this is, and I said to you a million times, this is not so I need to read for once, base and top. Um, this is not a how-to channel. This is a journey I'm sharing. And I do think sometimes it works, sometimes it don't work and i share it with you guys and you've been part of my journey that means that i grow and i learn new things with you guys plus i'm extremely clumsy as you can see because i've got big hands Ugh. but you know i'm a guy so i have big hands it's part of the game base and top so that's this way i learn i need to read when i use this thing because from past experiences um what we're gonna do we're gonna finish it off we're going to use this again second day in a row that i'm showcasing video using our lovely gilda because this wax is it's just so addictive i know a lot of you had bought it because of me sorry but honestly guys it's the best and what i'm gonna do uh lovely steph woolly steph bought me another pot uh for the present thank you steph uh, but I want to try it. They've got so many different colours. I'm sure, I'm sure, but don't quote me on this. There is a, um, what do you call it? Not pink, rose gold. Um, I want to, I really, really want to try. Because um, I don't know why, I always loved gold all the time. I've always been a massive gold fan. But lately, I'm appreciating pink and I'm appreciating rose gold i don't know why i just got this taste and lately i'm appreciating writing everywhere so i'm obsessed with these labels things i don't know why i don't know if it's a phase i don't know if you know because i see them everywhere i don't know but i'm a very 
very appreciative those sort of things so yeah i want to try the rose gold right this has got to be flat nice because it's still a bit wet do i have to do oh yeah I forgot i need to do the back of it so i'm just gonna put a bit of gold and also put some gold on the on this um folds of the paper because that make it will make it more interesting so in a minute guys i'm going to go and wash my fingers before oops before because i want to put some ribbons on those so i'm going to quickly do it and then um, we're going to put some ribbons together so when I did this paper last week, I'll show you how I made those. Because I crunched all the paper, you got all these lovely creases. So with the gold, if you go all over it, gently, you don't have to press it, just gently go all over the go all over the crease. And you've got that interesting texture. Just a tiny bit there. You see, just literally, don't do any pressure. Just go like this, like you, I don't know what, how to describe this gesture, but... Yeah, it's kind of like you're doing that, like you're eating some chocolate. Like imagine like you put your finger in melt chocolate and you shove it in your mouth. <laughs> so yeah, so that's that's kind of the thing. So, right, I'm going to wash my hands and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So I'm gonna be very naughty and I'm gonna use my best paper scissors. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna buy another one of this because that's my new favorite scissor. And um, I'm going to use it for fabric. So I'm going to chop, I mean, look at the cat, because normally with ribbons, you get all sorts of crap. So we're going to put this through, just like that. And then we're going to cut it. So we've got a clean edge. Bin. And then we're going to use this baby blue here. Oh, still got a bit of. We got this new. It's like um, we got it for Christmas. It's a shower gel. Uh, I um I use um solid soap for my shower because we tend to we are trying to uh, limited the amount of plastic that we use in the house, um so. I make my own soaps. I've done lots of few videos actually, um, how to make soaps at home. So just go and have a look if you are interested. So yeah, so we got this shower gel and we use it for in the bathroom to wash our hands. Yeah, so that's one. And then we're doing this one just with red. Just got two pieces. I just didn't fancy it pink so i just want to keep it to red so put this first but i want to chop them and then i use this other bit to create to make a little knot sorry if the camera shake i need to really the problem is this sort of camera shoot the cling up on the clip on the table and every time you move the table the camera moves because it's all connected so ideally i would have liked this camera to be clipped on the on the shelf on the wall but we i'm not allowed because jamie would tell me off we really not put any shelf in the house it's in fact i don't think we've got anything on the walls um, and in fact, we don't actually, I just realised, uh, because again, I don't know what I'm doing to be fair, where is the other end? One is there, where is the other? Oh, it's inside. Um, I was going to say, oh yeah, because again, because we plastered every single wall, so there was really horrible vintage wallpaper but it wasn't cold wind vintage it was a bad vintage so we strip that's what we did actually we did strip the wallpaper off uh, so that's the job that we did we did paint white um so we did do that actually uh so anyway so uh, because all the walls are replastered i'm not allowed to put anything on the wall so yeah right that's it tag can i sort of should i still in? yeah 
Tag number one, tag number two. What do you guys think? I love them both. I tend to go more over the left. I love the blues, but I do love the pink as well. Um, again, have a look at uh, Tracy's kit because you don't have to make these tags. You can make anything that you want, but this is so versatile and it's so easy because sometimes you need to be told what to do. <laughs> so you've got a page when you've got all your elements, you just need to fussy cut and, you know, and do it. Right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I'm only asking you a big, big gold thumbs up. And until next time, stay safe and well.